Why hello champions, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to be doing an empties video. I know I haven't done one in a while. So I've had all of my products building up and I'm about to tell you about them. So let's get started with the first product. So these Nature's Bounty Extra Strength Hair, Skin and Nails. I took the, like I finished it off obviously, but I didn't like the taste of them. I like, or the smell, like it would make me nauseous. So I'm not, de I'm definitely not buying that again. So on for the next product, I guess I should stay in with the actual, like the pills if I'm starting out with that. So this is a package from Ray. Um, it's the support youthful skin and cellular rejuvenation. Did I not keep? So there was also another one that I was using. It was for the gut health, which I really did like. Um, this one I also liked. Um, it definitely didn't make my skin feel dry. It has hyaluronic acid in it, vitamin A and E, grape seed, and resveratrol. So hyaluronic acid is definitely good for the skin it, um, and the body. Like it'll keep your body, like the, um, I'm off. it'll keep your um, body very, like really hydrated and all of that. So I definitely need to buy more of them. And on to the next one, the Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. So what I used this for was when, because I used this in order to have like moisture in my hair when I would do the um, the silicone brush, which is a like removes all the dead um, the dandruff and all that on the skin in order and all of like the leftover product that's on your like on your scalp. That way your hair can grow a lot better and faster and thicker. So yeah, I really like this. And I also um, definitely saw a difference in my hair. Uh, it does have alcohol in it, so I wouldn't recommend it to like a lot of people. Um, what is the next product? So this is the Space Wash Foaming Facial Cleanser from Starface. So I really liked it because like with me having facial hair, it this, foam really gets past the hair on the face and gets through it and it's an acne face wash so that is a plus so next is going to be the Olay rinse off body conditioner oh my god I really need to get a new um body condition a new one of this like a full size this is just the sample so I do have a lot of samples here to, um in the bin but it is what it is um this like when you're done in the shower or no when you're in the shower you, you just put it on uh and it really leaves your like the body feeling a lot of moisture like really moisturized so I did actually hear Jackie Ina talking about a Conditioner. I don't know if it was this one exactly, but I know that she uses a body conditioner and I definitely need to buy a new one or a body conditioner in general. So staying with the body, I have the Lush Magic Crystals Shower Scrub. So I don't didn't use this every day. I just used it every now and then, like at least like once or twice a week and I love the smell of it. I, I don't know if I can still smell. Yeah, it smells like I love the smell. It's it's a scrub your way to softness with Epsom salt and tingly fresh mint infusion. You can definitely smell the mint and it leaves your it doesn't leave the minty smell on your skin because it does wash away. Um, but I really do love it. So next is going to be the Aveeno Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. So I use this at, I have another one, like I bought, I got two of the samples. I know you're not supposed to grab two, but whatever. 
Um, and I really do love this. I want to when I'm done with the other um, one, I'm going to get a full size. I think I know I have other sunscreens that I have to use up, but I use that after all of my skincare. And again, it hydrates your skin and it sunscreen. So the downside is that it you can smell no. I think you can smell the sunscreen. Can you smell the sunscreen? I know you can see the sunscreen on your skin. So it smells like it's um, UVA and UV, UVB protection and it's 60 um, SPF 60 and it's sweat and water resistance up to 80 minutes. So you do have to reapply, but I don't usually reapply. Um, but yeah. Next is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. So this is another sample size. I didn't really like it exactly for what I would have used it for. And it doesn't really leave your skin feeling hydrated for a long period of time, just like 30 minutes. I mean, I know that uh, I do have to drink more water during the day. So yeah. Um, other than that, it didn't. I didn't really see a, a difference besides that it left a dewy um, look on my skin. So it has hyaluronic acid, oat, and hyaluronic acid and oats. So it's a soothing mist. Oh, so I guess, yeah, it's supposed to be hydrating though. Um, I am upset that sun bomb got rid, or I mean, I can't even find the sun, this sun bomb face mist anymore. I got it, um, I want to say last summer. So I'm hoping that they bring this back because I really liked it. I got used it over my um, makeup as well. And yeah, it's a refreshing face mist, sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 45 and water resistant up to 40 minutes. So a lot of the sunscreens don't aren't really water resistant. Like they will wash off of your skin, but yeah. They just like to say that in order to get you to buy it. But I really liked it because I was able to put it over my makeup if I was going out like during the day with makeup on, which is a rare occasion because I only do makeup for like here and then I'll wash it off. Like I'll do a review for like um, make like foundation and whatnot. So I do have to have sunscreen on for that. But if I don't remember to put sunscreen on before, Four, I'll I would have used that, which is like I, what was my go-to. Oh, here's the that's why I didn't put the package. So here is another one. What I was talking about with the Ray, the pre and probiotic. It's a this container is thirty day is a thirty day supply with sixty capsules because you take two. You're supposed to take two a day. These I definitely love. All of Ray's stuff always tastes like mint to me. Like it has a minty flavor to it. So it's supposed to be good for like your gut health and all of that. And you take two capsules on an empty stomach. Um, the next one is going to be the moisturizing cream from Cetaphil. This is a sample. I use this on my hands during work because I am a cart cleaner at work. Um, and I, I, if you guys don't know, I work at uh, Target. So we are still wiping down the carts, but I used it on my hands. I forget which one I'm using now. I know at one point I was also using the, I don't remember what, it, what it's called. But I use that on my hands because we are using like chemicals that will dry your hands out. So yeah. And another thing, like why are you guys at like the old people would ask for us to spray their hands with the sanitizer. Like there's sanitizer right up there. Go use that instead. Or and they use the cart wipes to wipe their hands. I'm like, that's not what that's for. Use hand sanitizer. It's not as harsh on your hands as it's meant for your hands. Not the cart wipes. The cart wipes are for the carts. The cart wipes will dry your hands out. People just don't understand. Um, the next sample is going to be the La Roche Posay um, Tolerain Double Repair Face Moisturizer. So I used this for a little bit. I did use it all up though because there wasn't really a lot in it. 
Um, I definitely saw a difference. Uh, La Roche Posay is definitely a good um, drugstore brand with their um, skincare um, stuff, and I definitely recommend. So, staying with the samples, I am talking about the Pantene treatment. So it is like a hair product. So what I did, it's the same thing as the um, other one, the that leave-in conditioner. The leave-in conditioner by Cantu. I used it the same way. I would put this in my hair and then I'd use the brush. Um, definitely, when I'd use this by itself as well, I even saw a difference in like the my like the curls in my hair because my hair is like really curly um the next sample is going to be the exuviance uh glycolic expert moisturizer so i got this um and along with the whole set uh if you guys have seen my instagram i've got i've worked with exuviance quite a bit um this was with their resurfacing um was it there was the men's resurfacing kit that they sent me i forget what it they their they named it but they sent me the sample of it of the moisturizer which i was really upset like why are you gonna send me like expect me to post about products when you only like sent me a full size of the face wash but then a sample size of the re daily resurfacing pads and the moisturizer. Like I, like I was only able to use it for a week. Not a month. But it's definitely really good. Definite, it's supposed to be for normal to combination skin. And I would definitely use it again. I mean, it's like $30, I think, for... Um, a full size, I mean, Exuvians you could buy at Ulta and all of that, but yeah. So next on is the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream. I didn't exactly like the smell of it, but it was the only other one that I had. This is the sample size, well, oh, that one of the samples that I got for during the birthday gift. I also got the other one, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, um, but this one is like smells like coconuts, which I don't really like the smell of coconuts, but it's like a body moisturizer. So I had to have some type of body moisturizer. Right now I don't have one. I still have to go get one. The And the next one would be the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which, oh my God, I love the smell of it. One of my coworkers at Target, um, who knows about this channel? Um, her sister bought her the whole entire kit of the Brazilian, um, bum, bum, like the whole, like, scent and the, the big jug, like the big container of this. I don't, I think that that's it of the kit, but I know, I'm pretty sure that there's another, um, bit, another one that comes with the kit, possibly, um, but oh my god, when I tell you that when I would walk to work, because I would ride my bike or walk to work, when I would get into the store, all you would smell is this. Such a sm strong smell, but it doesn't give you like a headache, which I love. And oh my god, so good. So next is going to be the L'Oreal Collagen Moisture Filler. When I tell you that this, like it's a thicker cream. So I used it like at night. Sometimes I used it before doing like makeup and everything. Oh my God, when I tell you that my skin, like it did wonders for my skin. Like I have fine lines on my forehead, which I don't really like to talk about. It is so good. Oh my God, I need to buy another one. I need to buy another, a lot of this stuff again, but, or buy a lot of this stuff, but yeah. This is definitely a good one. And it's, I want to say that it was only like 14 bucks. 
don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure it was pretty affordable. I don't know about now because I'll, I know re remember when I was working at Duncan and the Neutrogena Hydro Boost was only 12 bucks. At one point it was seven bucks and now it's like 20. Like, come on. And it's a glass container. The the L'Oreal uh, Paris Collagen Moisturizer or Moisturizer Filler is a glass container, which is a plus. Sticking with the samples again, I have the Dollar Shave Club Shave Butter. I didn't really like it. It, um, my skin reacted to it. Like, I have to have specific um shave cream and because like my hair is so thick and that when I shave it I usually get a rash right here but lately I've been using a product that my brother recommended to me and that has menthol on it like a strong menthol for like cooling and it's so good like yeah my I have to moisturize as well because or my face will get itchy but yeah the next one is the three ships purify aloe and amino acid cleanser um i didn't really see a difference with this one and three ships is supposed to be a good brand but i guess not so the next one is going to be the love beauty and planet coconut milk and white jasmine divine uh, indulgent just drop in everything now um, the hand cream I didn't really like this like I like the like I liked I didn't really like the scent either um, but it was on sale when I bought it so I was like let me try it I was looking for a new hand cream but yeah I didn't really like it it didn't exactly do what I was hoping that it would do for like my skin. Um, next is Target's Up and Up Saline Wound, Wa Wound Wash. So I, it's either this or the um, the Walmart one um, that I've heard a lot about. But because I'm at I work at Target, this is just right there for me. Um, it's I use it to used it to clean my um, piercings when I first got them, and it, like I was originally because I got it done at Claire's, I all, like all three of them. I got the lobes done together, but then I got the cartilage done by itself. It's the cartilage is still healing, but um, I'm pretty sure that the lobes are done. But I'm going to just leave them in because I'm not going to take them out and risk uh, um, the probability of it closing back up at the moment. I still have to wait six months for it before I can actually take them out because you're supposed to wait six months for it to fully be done healing. Um, the cartilage is uh, about a year, but next month i can actually change it because i'm going to i have to be able to change it because i am going to a concert i'm going to a halsey's concert and i bought a chain going from the cartilage to here and as you can see i was messing with it last night so and sometimes i do roll over and sleep on it so i do still have to use the saline for this for the cartilage but i haven't been using the saline for the lobes because they are healed um but when I was using uh, Claire's rapid um, piercing healing, the uh, rapid solution, the cartilage didn't even want to like heal at all. It gave me problems. Like it didn't go from red to back to the skin color, like this color. Like the only reason why this is red right now is because I was messing with it last night. Like I did try to change it because every now and then I do sleep on this side um but I just have to make sure that I don't bump it um but then when I changed over to the saline moon wash like my one of my co-workers recommended it cleared up like Im almost immediately and 
Yeah, I mean, I still get flakes on the earrings every now and then when I take it out and to clean the earrings. But yeah, I mean, you're not supposed to technically take the earrings out, but I want to because I like to because I spray it with um, a specific type of alcohol to clean them, and then I let it. I just let it dry. And before I put it back in, like I'll usually do like a saline soak um, when I have to have it out. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Like I'll sp literally spray a cotton pad with the saline wound wash and then just lay it on top. And yeah. Um, next up is going to be this foundation, the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. So, if you guys remember when I first got the foundation, I didn't exactly like it. Um, I have come around to actually liking it, but I wouldn't buy it again. I, the only thing that I liked about it was that it had sunscreen in it and that it, like the, um, the, not the radiance, but the dewiness that it gave my skin. Next is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So this is the travel size I want to say. For it, I got it from this one from Influencer. And I definitely like this, but right now the one that I really love using it, I just use like a gen the generic setting spray. I have, as you guys know lately, I've been using the Wet n Wild X, um, Saved by the Bell just to, oh my god, I'm bleeding. What the fuck? Oh well. I guess I'll just have a, I don't even remember scratching that, but whatever. Um, I've been using the, yeah, just to like set the face because I've been using pressed powders, like foundation powders, to in order to set the face, so I use that, and then, yeah, because if you don't use a setting powder, I've noticed that the rest of the powders will just lay on the face, while when I use the next product I'm going to show you, I use a wet sponge, which allows it to, the powder to soak into the skin and set the face. But the all-nighter definitely does last, uh, make your skin, skin your foundation and all of your makeup last a while. So next is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Oh my god. So the person who got me on that was James Charles. Um, like I said before, I use a wet sponge in order to set the face because with it being um, loose, I can use a wet sponge because it's not going to be all over the product. It's just going to be on the product that I tap out onto the lid. And then I will set the whole face and be done with the day. And I usually only set that once. I don't use, didn't use a setting spray when I was doing the loose powder, but with found, uh, pressed foundation powder, I do use a setting powder just to soak let the powder soak that way the rest of the base makeup does not just lay on the skin but then after i'm done with the bronzer blush and highlight i will set the face again and then at the end, very end i set the face again so yeah So we're almost done, and the third to last product is going to be the Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. This is the best cleansing balm that I have found yet. I have the Neutrogena Cleansing Balm, which still leaves foundation and stuff in the skin, which I've noticed after when I use the micellar water, but this barely leaves any product in the skin. This has left the least amount of product in the skin so by far. Like barely any. And now on to 
sense. Not like exactly sense per se, but like, um, not humidifier. Um, give me a moment. I will get the exact product for you. So it's a diffuser that I use these with. Both of them. Um, this is the tea tree oil. Um, what is it supposed to do? Um, it's supposed to purify the air and, um, I want to say help with breathing. Let me look it up. What does tea tree oil do in a diffuser? So, when diffused, tea tree oil boosts immunity, fights infections, reduces anxiety, and relieves insomnia as well as congestion. It also eliminates airborne bacteria. And then the next one is actually peppermint oil. Um, they are all, you could all buy the, both of these at Target. And let me look up what does peppermint oil do in diffuser. So when diffused, peppermint essential oil can boost energy, clear the respiratory tract, stimulate circulation, alleviate feelings of nervous tension and stress, and soothe feelings of irritability. Um, so, and then it says, in a massage, peppermint essential oil relieves fatigue, muscle spasms, muscle tension, flatulence, and fever. So I use both of them. I don't use them together, but I'll use like the peppermint oil to clear up my sinuses. But then um, what I used the tea tree oil for was to like clear the air and they both are definitely a must to have in your room especially with a diffuser like i love my diffuser i got it from the target dollar section and it still like it'll, it works and then when you run out like it comes with five pads along with the pad that's already in the diffuser so once you run out you're able to actually order more of like the circle pads from amazon so once i run out i am ordering more so yeah and that and that is it for this video i hope you guys liked it um if you guys have seen any of the if you guys liked any of the products and you want to go buy them go buy them um I'm not necessarily going to leave a link. I mean, I could leave a link for all of these products down below, or at least for some of them. For the links, I do actually get a commission because it would be uh, an Amazon link. So, yeah. Um, because I am an Amazon ambassador. But other than that, I definitely... like. Definitely liked some of the products. Like the products I liked, I definitely recommend. But yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to thumbs up in the section down below. Don't forget to comment down below. Any other video ideas you want me to do. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye guys. Love you.